We want to show Filipinos alternatives and sustainable design. Uh, something as simple as capiz waste can be turned into something beautiful. Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Victoria, and we're from Crete, Manila. Crete, Manila is a Filipino business that specializes in making handmade items out of concrete. We collaborate with fellow makers, uh, creatives, um, local artists to create uh, unique products. We sell home decor made of concrete. So usually, um, mga table decors made of concrete. So trays, pots, small pots, coasters. And sometimes we also do furniture depending sa client. If they want a custom furniture or custom home decor, we also make them. We've always been fascinated kasi with the character, the look of concrete, like the way it's imperfect in tone and texture. We started in no 2016. We're both industrial design graduates, so we are familiar with the process of making molds already. And then the idea was we sell small pots in concrete with succulents because in the time then it was yun yung trending or yun yung uso and then we decided to experiment with concrete a combination of many things research, uh, research youtube and, and also yung trial and error yeah. a lot dami of din trial, yeah. trial and error before <laughs> usually yung mga nakita namin online it's ba ano parang based yon sa weather kung saan sila like yung climate kung saan yung country nila dito sa Philippines kasi we have a different climate so iba ang curing process for cement kasi iba ba mainit dito and sometimes it's humid so nauubos agad yung moisture pag kinokure yung cement so yung process namin in learning it's very ano trial and error talaga <laughs> So since we started it off as a, a side hustle, in a way, naging ano siya, hobby mo na siya. So naglalaro lang kami. That's when we started to see others' oh, potential with this and we can take it somewhere further. We went to our first bazaar, 2017. Yes. Because at first we just tried it. Now, in invite kami ng friend namin. Oi, gusto niyo makihati sa sa ano sa booth. Para ako sige hati tayo para cheaper din yung rent. Eh nagbazar kami at first parang ang slow. Diba? So parang kinabahan kami. Sabi ko, "Wala ba kaya hindi natin mag-break even yung hindi namin mag-break even yung gastos." Nung mga bandang hapon na maraming nag-inquire, tas marami ding bumili. First day pa lang naubos na yung products namin. Yun, doon namin na-realize after the bazar parang na Uy, pwede pala siya maging business. Then the following year, may nag-order sa amin ng custom pieces in bulk. Doon na siya nag-start talaga na parang, ah, pwede pala natin to gawing full-time business. Cement lang siya. Yeah, And was in 2019, may nag-order sa amin na big company for their corporate giveaways for Christmas. They approached us October, tapos kailangan nila by December. They wanted 1,000 pieces of a custom vessel. So, syempre kami, oh my gosh, para ito na yung big break natin. <laughs> Pero, paano yan? Dalawa lang kami. Paano namin gagawin yung 1,000 pieces by December? Ginawa namin with that, um, we hired people na. Mga yeah. 10 people kami nun. It was one of our best experiences then in, dun sa business. Kasi nakuha agad namin yung trust ng client. Kahit wala pa kami experience in ganong karaming orders. Parang na-push talaga kami dun. But in the process, we grew from that experience and we learned a lot about ourselves then. Maybe because yung background namin together is industrial design, so ako, yung pinaka-background ko, when I started working, I was a furniture designer. We, we decided to make Crete na hip, parang yung Crete hindi lang siya pots. Parang we decided to elevate the brand into something na parang, oh, pwede siyang gamitin sa bayan na parang medyo lux yung dating. Yun yung okay. parang challenge namin. In design. So parang siya yung lead pagdating sa creative direction namin. And then for me, my background is I work sa production siya ng items. So ako yung parang product lead pagdating sa execution dun sa, dun sa workshop namin. So parang we work hand in hand together to arrive at you know our desired product. So we get a lot of inquiries on custom made items. If ever that pushes through, we work hand in hand with our client as well. So we kind of tailor fit it to their wants or needs. So they tell us what they want and then we tell them what we're capable of doing so that 
we meet half sort of meet halfway in the vision of the of the product and then from there we start with sketching and then that evolves into developing the design on our computer and then once the technical side is set like yung mga sukat um, that's when we start to gumagawa ng mock up so usually yun yung misconception ng mga tao when someone wants um, a custom made vessel parang feeling nila ah semento lang yan mura lang yan pero hindi kasi yung process of yung paggawa ng mold it's expensive talaga Maraming beses during the pandemic, actually, <laughs> we're not from a business background then. So, it was very hard for us to pivot during the pandemic. So, yun yung challenge namin na trying to find the right people to buy our products during the pandemic. And people who are willing to spend and willing to support our business during the hard times. Before kasi, nung nag-start kami, parang mag-iisip kami ng ano kayo magandang product. Usually, yung iniisip namin, ano ba yung kailangan namin sa bahay? <laughs> so yun, kaya nag-start kami sa trays, sa pots, kasi kailangan namin ng ganun sa bahay. Tapos ngayon, since parang naging business na rin talaga kami, I get inspiration from other brands abroad din. And also, I research on trends. So parang syempre, important din yun as a designer na parang hindi ka lang basta nagde-design or nagtitingin ka lang sa Pinterest. Dapat you also research on what's gonna trend in the next year, the next two years. Medyo mahirap din i-figure out minsan eh. Kasi syempre hindi mo rin alam kung ano nga ba yung sasakto dun sa gusto ng audience mo. Trust mo rin yung gut mo as a designer kung ano kaya yung maganda, ano yung sa tingin mong bebenta. Kasi syempre you cannot design just for yourself. Parang kailangan you design for the people you're going to sell to. Our goal kasi per product talaga is they have something unique. Since concrete is very unpredictable when it comes to texture, per customer namin, meron silang something unique na ginawa namin. Kaya we also chose concrete kasi they have different characters. So kada buhos, iba yung lumalabas na texture. And then when it comes to the colors naman, ganun din. Every client has a unique piece talaga. My, my story. Diba we were making colored ano na colored items na so we had um scrap yung mga waste kasi we also wanted to promote yung sana na meron kaming zero waste na initiative since marami kaming waste din so, so we had to think of how to use that as well so dinurog namin yung mga pieces na yun and then we started experimenting with the mix nung sinad na namin siya doon namin nakita na parang para siyang confetti so yeah. we named it the confetti finish yung bagong ano natin project yeah. natin yung project ka piece it's a new confetti product and then the pieces that are inlaid or embedded in the concrete are ka piece waste from other makers or manufacturers and so we get the waste from them and then we clean it and then we turn it into confetti bits and then we, we make our terrazzo pieces out of them. If you promote that kind of thinking, others will try to think like that as well. And I think that's one way to to tackle um, new climate change, um, pollution, and you know, sustainable design and making use of the, the waste around us. namin is, you need to have a lot of patience. <laughs> Parang success doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> Yun nga yung sinasabi nila. Kailangan din consistent ka with your practice. Even if you don't have a skill in something, if you have grit and you just keep trying, makakukuha mo rin siya. Starting out kami. Since wala kaming background in business. Lagi kaming takot mag-decision. It was only until we started taking little leaps of faith. Like, when we started, we joined our first bazaar our first consignment, it was then when we started connecting with people in our field, people who have many things in common with us. Um, and then you tell each other stories and then you find out things that I'm not alone alone sa ganitong experience. And then sometimes if you have more you learn from their experience. So it gives you a little bit more confidence in making your own decisions with your business. So taking those little leaps of faith really matter in your putting up your business. Looking at the challenges as not a hindrance, but rather part of journey journey. 